Any customers, Mac? Yeah. Business is terrible. Give it to him, good. On your way to a fire? Now listen, officer, I wasn't really speeding. No? No. I noticed them snails whizzing by you when you passed that billboard. I mean, I wasn't speeding. I was just hurrying. Well, what's your name? Joe Blair. You see, officer, I'm on my way to get married. Well, where's your license? Here it is. No, I mean your driver's license. Oh, but officer, this is on the level. See here. Joe Blair and Alice Blake. There it is. Hey, you're not going to get any sympathy out of me just because you fell for some dame. But, officer... Say, I'd be doing you a favor if I threw you in the can right now, buddy. You know, dames are the cause of all the trouble in the world. But this is different. You see, there's a big race on. And there's another fellow hurrying to the flying field... Oh, yeah? That's him. That's Peter Foley. Don't worry. Bull will get him. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? You on your way to a fire? No. I'm on my way to get married. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Here's the license. Peter Foley and Alice Blake. She's coming in from Kansas City by plane. I'm going to rush her off her feet and marry her before she knows what it's all about. Uh, I know just how you feel. I got a swell dame myself. Officer, you're a pal. Yeah. <laughs> there she is now. There's the plane. I got to be hustling along. Okay, kid. You got a clear road to the airport. Step on it. I want to tell her about you. Yeah. <laughs> give the bride a little kiss for me. Hey, give the bride a little kiss for me. Hello, Sarge. So you're a wild bull, Morgan. The sweet Lou and 60, and you practically kissed him before he pulled out. Oh, Sarge, that guy would get married. Well, you're transferred to the Mount Patrol. You probably won't find so many bridegrooms up there. Oh, Sarge, that's a lousy feat. Hop on that bicycle and get going. Kiss the little bride for me. What's the matter? Old Aunt Pace give you a ballin' out? Ballin' out? Transferred me to the mountain patrol just because I feel sorry for some guy that's going to get married. <laughs> and some goof tried to play the same thing on me. Said he was going to meet his girl at the airport. But a nice pink ticket. Was the girl's name Alice Blake? Yeah, that was it. Why? Nothing. Trouble with me is I'm too soft-hearted about love. <laughs> That's on account of being engaged to Julie. Ain't she a swell dame? Is this a tomato? Don't call my dame a tomato. I suppose she wouldn't look at anybody else but you. No, she wouldn't. I found a girl parked in one of those hug and snuggle coupes up on the Palisades the other night. And she looks mighty like her. Like Julie? Yeah, she was all tied up in a knot with some big guy. Some big guy? 
Not Julie. She ain't that kind of a girl. Maybe she's got a sister, huh? No. <laughs> say, did I hear you say you give him a ticket? Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, Parker's the name. I remember. He was driving one of those bright yellow coupes. Yellow coupe? Yeah. You know, if I ever catch Julie chiseling on me, it'll just be too bad for the guy she's with, that's all. Papa's rough this morning. Well, you drowse the John Gilbert and any man. So I've been told before. Duty call. What number that Julia gal? Is she? You know she is. D.W., how's Mama's day being man this morning? Misty is. Oh. Last night I was your itty bitty princess. But this morning I'm just the office stenographer. Now, Julie, we've got to watch our step around here. <laughs> yes, and other places too. If that cop that handed us the parking ticket the other night had been bull, uh -huh. well, there's been another world's war. Will you quit talking about that cop? Hello? Peter Foley? What? He's going away on a trip. On his way to the airport. Young Foley's trying to beat me out of the money he owes me. His check just bounced back again. A fellow gave Bull a bad check once. And what he did to him... <gasps> you think that cop is tough? Well, come along to the airport and watch me in action. Okay, Georgie. Georgie in the coupe. Miss Parker in the office. Yes, Mr. Parker. That's better. plane from Kansas City? That was a plane from San Diego. The Kansas City plane has been delayed. Anything serious? No, no, just headwinds. Oh, when will it be in? Well, that's hard to tell. It might be several hours late. Oh, thanks. Didn't Alice get in? No, her plane is late. Well, that's great. I was afraid that speed cop had ruined my chances. You haven't got any chances anyway. Alice has promised to be my wife. That's Foley's car now. Just a minute. Oh, hello, Mr. Parker. So you're trying to beat it away from me, are you? Ooh. Well, this time you're going to jail. Well, well, what do you mean? That rubber check of yours bounced back again this morning. Then I'm on my way now to swear out a warrant. Well, well just have a little patience, Mr. Why, Parker. Why, you told me you are going to get all straightened out. That you'd have money to burn. Well, well I would have had it for the plane hadn't have been delayed with my girl aboard. What's that? Oh, well, I might as well tell you the whole story. Well, don't make it a long story. I've been getting an allowance from my grandfather. Yes, I know all about that. And, and in a weak moment, I wrote my grandfather that I was married so I could have my allowance increased. And then he died and left the entire fortune to, to my wife. Do you follow me? Yes, I'm way ahead of you. 
You haven't got a wife. Exactly. And if the legacy isn't collected by midnight tonight, it goes to my Uncle Henry Foley. Do you mean to tell me that all you've got to do is to appear there with a wife they've never seen and she can collect the fortune? That's it. I'll get you a wife. But, Mr. But me no buts. Come here. Julia, how would you like to get married? Oh, Mr. Parker. No, no, not to me. To Mr. Foley. Just act as his wife for a couple of days. Well, I may be weak, but I know how to. Now, Julie, it's all on the up and up. Foley's got to have a wife to collect a fortune. You pose the wife, collect the fortune, and he will make it worth your while. I think the idea is ridiculous. Not so fast, young man. You do as I say, or you go to jail. Well, if Alice hears about this, she'll never marry me. Yes, and if Bull Morgan Dun. hears about this, you'll never be alive to marry your Alice. Who's Bull Morgan? Why, he's Julia's sweetheart. A motorcycle cop, the menace of the great outdoors. <laughs> and how. So, you know, he's so jealous that he punched my last boss right on the nose, just on general principle. <clears throat> well, uh, don't worry. He'll never hear about this. Now, where do we go to collect? Uh, up at Uncle Henry Foley's house. It's a spooky old place up at Dead Pine. Now, now wait a minute. Hot or cold, we go there at once. Well, if it ain't me old pal. <laughs> Did you meet the little bride yet? Uh, no. No. I mean, yes. Yes. No. No. It was a stall, wasn't it? Uh, you're going to get plenty tickets, buddy. Nobody can fool Bull Morgan and get away with it. You, Bull Morgan? In poison, not a moving picture. But officer, don't listen. officer me. I'm gonna hang so many charges on you. I'll empty me book. But officer, don't listen. Officer me. Think I'll just take you into the jug right now. That's the only way to handle you guys. Crank up that boiler. Resisting arrest. Destroying public property. Driving drunk. Attempting manslaughter. Foley.
Who was that? Nobody. There's a storm blowing up. <laughs> Why on earth, Henry, do you persist in living in this spooky old house all alone? Why, it fairly gives me the creeps. Well, it's good enough for me. I can't understand why Lawyer Winston isn't here. Uh, he won't be here. What do you mean? Why, he's no fool. Uh, he won't come up the mountain on a night like this. Oh. <clears throat> My neuritis. Oh, you almost scared me to death. Yeah, it's always bad when there's a storm coming up. Oh. Oh, what a sweet spot. Some family I married into. Oh, be quiet. That's no way to speak to your wife. Cut out the comedy. Anybody think you two were really married? <laughs> Oh, well, what was that? Must be a mountain lion. They jumped down on you from the trees. Oh, dear. That must be Lawyer Winston now. To meet the, uh, want you to meet my wife. Uh. How are you? Oh, this is Mr. Parker. Uh, uh, this is my Aunt Mary Foley. I'm very glad to know you. And this is my Uncle Henry Foley. How do you do? Well, I certainly am glad to meet you folks. I'm Peter's manager. Great little boy, Peter. He's going to make his mark in the world. Now, Mr. Parker. <laughs> and this is Peter's little wife, Julie. God bless her. She's one girl in a million. Peter's a lucky boy, I'll tell you. Oh, Mr. Parker. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, well, what happened? Uh, why, the, the storm affects the wires. And the lights are likely to go out any minute. What's that? What? Yeah. Oh, why did I ever let myself in for this? Uh, Julia's got a very nervous disposition. Oh, is that so? Well, now that we're here as called for, why not turn the legacy over to Mrs. Foley? Then we can all take our leave at once. Yeah, well, the lawyer hasn't arrived yet. Well, I cannot understand what has happened to him. Why, he left the village fully an hour before I did. Do you mean to say we have to wait for a lawyer before we can collect the estate? Why, certainly. There's a lot of money involved here. Well, we have to wait, so you might as well make yourselves comfortable. I know you must be cold, and you're probably half starved. Oh. That's right. I'm so hungry I could eat a bull. Uh, <laughs> I mean a horse. Well, I'll see what I can find for you. Let me help you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on. Oh, come on over here. Because Julie wants to talk to you. Now you sit right down there. Uh, Peter, how much money do you expect to get from your grandfather's estate? Oh, I don't know. About $800,000. 800000 
Oh, darling. Say, what's the idea? Oh, Pete, don't you love Julie a little bit? I could be awfully fond of you. Now, listen, Julie. Mm-hmm. I mean Miss Thorpe. We're engaged in a business transaction, and I don't want you to get any false ideas. Oh, but Peter, think how happy we could be on $800,000. We could have a home in the country, and trips to Paris, and maybe a yacht. Say, you seem to have forgotten all about Bo Morgan. Oh, no, I haven't. Bo will make a grand chauffeur. Why? I think you're one of the most immoral women I have ever met. Peter! Oh, <laughs> Peter was only fooling. Weren't you, Peetsy Weepsy? <laughs> yeah, that's it. I was, I was only fooling. <laughs> of course, he was only fooling. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't do that. Look here, Foley. Do you want to go to jail? Please don't say that. Then watch your step and give a perfect imitation of a loving husband. Peter's wife. How do you do? Oh, hello. <laughs> we were on our way to get married when we got lost. What? Elopers! How romantic! Yes, we intended to run away and get married without telling a soul. But you must stay and have a bite. You can't rush out in that storm. Oh, that'll be over in an hour or so. And then we'll be on our way. Oh, no. N no, it won't. It'll probably last for days. And I'm quite sure Uncle Henry would be delighted to put you up for the night. Of course. Oh, yes. Yes, my dear, you must join us. Everything is ready on the table. Thank you. Come, Julia. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's delightful having you know, the bride in the house. <laughs> you just wait till I get you alone. All's fair in love and war, and this vote. Down at the Foley place, boss, and up that road, down. Well, go ahead, go on up good. Not me, boss. Not me. I don't go near that place. Why not? There's strange things happen in that house. Strange things. There's shown up ghosts in that. Folks oh. don't go near there. And that includes this here, boss. All right, I'll walk up. Well, wait, that's all I got, boss. That's uh, yes, sir. All right, you can keep that, too. Yes, sir. Get your old tin can out of here. So? No, thank you. No? Oh, in a terrible storm like this, it was fortunate that you got lost so near Mifoli's home. Why, yes. It was. Oh, it'll be over shortly. Alice and I are anxious to be on our way. Aren't we, Alice, dear? Why, yes. Of course, Joe. But this is a bad storm. Might last for a week. <laughs> oh, but we won't mind that. We'll be beady, darling. <laughs> well, well, well. If there's one thing I'm crazy about, it's pork chops country style. Well, I'm glad you like them. I love to see people eat. Of course you have some potatoes. Yes, of course. Oh, of course. Peter's wife, but this is the first time we've ever met her. <laughs> well, I think 
think of the cute little things that Peter wrote us. Now, Auntie, I'm sure no one wants to hear about that. I'm sure we'd all love to hear about what Peter wrote. Oh, yes. Tell us. Well, I remember how we laughed when Peter wrote us about the little very mark you have right on the middle of Auntie. <laughs> Oh, Peter, darling, you know there are some things you should keep to yourself. <laughs> that must be Lawyer Winston now. That's fine. Oh, I thought you were the lawyer. The lawyer. Lady, I'm the law. I don't understand. You don't have to understand. I'm looking for a guy named Foley. Oh, yeah? What could you be wanting Mr. Foley for? I'll tell him it twice as what I want him for. Oh, what happened to the light? Uh, storm affects the wires. Lights, uh, likely to go out any time. Why, the lights are out in the dining room, but we've been having a lot of trouble with them. You know? It's all right, Ella. Well, can't somebody turn them on? Don't worry. Did somebody turn out the light? It's the storm. It affects the wires. Officer, this is Mr. Foley. No, the guy I'm looking for is a young punk. Oh, you want Peter Foley? He's a guy. Peter, he's gone. And his wife. But well, where did they go? Gone, huh? They sneaked upstairs. Oh, upstairs. Uh, you know how newly married couples are. I thought you said they'd been married for a year. A year? Hey, I don't care how long they've been married. I want them. I got something again them. Well, I'm Peter's manager. I'll I'll go and get him. Is he still here? Yes. You've got to get him out of the house. Who, me? Accept the tickets, and we can get rid of him. Then I get him again. What does he do? He knocks my motorcycle off of the mountain. Oh, I've killed guys for less than that. Please, you get rid of him. I will. And it'll cost you another 5000 Officer, if you'll give me the tickets, I'll take care of them. Mr. Foley and his wife have retired for the night. Tickets may I. I'm going to take him with me now. Oh, but, Mr. Officer, neither of you could leave the house tonight in this awful storm. All right, I'll stay, but I'm going to take him with me in the morning. Well, won't you sit down and have a bite to eat? Yeah, well. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Yeah, sure. uh, uh, Morgan. Bull Morgan. Well, yeah. Mr. Morgan, this is Miss Alice Blake. Alice Blake? Yes, and Mr. Blair, her fiancé, and of course, Mr. Parker. Hi. Say, ain't I met you somewhere before? I've never been anywhere before. Your name's Parker, ain't it? Yes, G.W. Parker. Do you drive a yellow coupe? Coupe? Yeah. No. I won't ride in anything but an open car. I love the air. Breeze is blowing. The great outdoors. Yeah. Why, Mr. Parker, you scarcely eat nothing. But I... I'm not very hungry. I am. Thanks. Oh, it's only you. 
What are you doing? Well, I'm going to bed. Did you bring your pajamas? I'm going to get out of here. Oh. It's time we had a little heart-to-heart -heart talk. You open that door, or I'll... You'll what? Well, I'll... You won't do anything. You've got to stay right here and listen to what I've got to say. Well, what are you going to do? Well, I've decided to marry you, Petey, dear. What? $800,000 only comes into a girl's lifetime once. And nobody's ever going to say that little Julie didn't listen to old man opportunity when he knocked. So he's one of these guys that talks about himself. Nice he says to the big punk. So you can talk to animals, can you? Ask this skunk what the big idea. <laughs> <laughs> say, listen, big. Sorry, but Mr. Morgan and Mr. Parker will have to sleep together. Okay by me. I... How they strike you, okay, buddy? Certainly. Certainly. If you'll come with me, I'll show you to the room. Thank you. Well, see you between the sheets. Out of here. Get out of here. That bull is going to sleep in here with me. Well, wait. Looks like you'd have to sleep in the bathroom. Where's Julia? Oh, I just got away from her. She made up her mind she's going to marry me. That wouldn't be a bad idea. She's a swell dame. Say, so you forget that I'm in love with Alice. She's the girl I'm going to marry. Oh, forget it. You heard her say she's going to marry Blair. Julia's the girl for you. Oh, that's all right, lady. I'm here to sleep in trouble. Get out of here. All right, buddy. I got the clothes. I guess that must belong to the old lady. Say, let's match to see who has to wear this one. You'll wear that one, and... <laughs> yes. Say, where have I seen you before? I've got a twin brother. Uh, well, I guess I'll mop up a little. Is this the bathroom? Yes. Uh, no. What do you mean, no? Well, there might be somebody in there. Oh. probably be married by this time, wouldn't you? Yes, indeed. Well, good night, my dear. Good night. <gasps> don't scream, Alice. I can explain everything if you just give me a minute. I don't want ever to speak to you again. Oh, you can't do that. Don't explain. Peter! I'm surprised at you. Oh, it's perfectly all right, Annie. I'm not so sure. What would your wife say if she could see you? Yes, Peter. What would your wife say? Old-fashioned romp. Oh. My dear, to say that I'm surprised is putting it mildly. Oh, but Miss Foley, I can... Come in. What's the matter? He's in there. Oh, I 
don't care if he is a little shrimp. I mean bull, the cop. What? So this young Weezer couldn't be separated from his little wife, huh? Guess he's crazy about her, huh? No? Yes. Yeah? She's crazy about him all right, ain't she? Yeah? No. No? You know, I got a girl named Julie. Oh, I'm nuts about it. That's why I'm so soft-hearted when I run up against a guy that's in love. Yeah. Hey, listen, come back with the best clothes. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, I didn't mean to be so rough, would you? That's all right. I think I'll turn out the lights. No. Always sleep with the lights on. Uh, when I think about Julie, I get so youthful. Julia's your sweetheart? And how? Say, I'm so nuts about her, it makes me feel rotten. You must be in love with her. Oh, you're asking me, am I? I'm so jealous of Julie, if another man even so much as looked at her, oh! What would happen? What would happen? I'd soak him on the chin like this. Then I'd do this like this. Ah! That's what I'd do to him. That isn't enough. No? You know what I'd do if it happened to me? No, what would you do? Show me. This is what I have to do just for a starter. Hey, you sure you ain't got a yellow coupe? I never owned a yellow coupe. You know, if any cops, any motorcycle cops has give you a ticket lately, give it to me and I can fix it for you. No. No, I've never been given a parking ticket in my life. No? No. Oh.
What are you doing down here? I'm looking for a place to sleep. Why don't you sleep with your wife? You know I'm not married to that woman. Why not? She's not so bad. I have a notion to punch you right in the nose. Go ahead. Wake up the whole house. Including Wild Bull Morgan. Would you mind retiring? I'd like to get a little sleep. So would I. What was that? I've been hearing funny noises for the last hour. Listen. This is a swell place for a murder. You said it. in the cellar. That's what I'd like to know. Why, it's Mr. Winston. The lawyer. Well, I'm certainly glad he's here. When did you get here? Madam, I have been the victim of the most unwanted attack. What? what? When I entered this house, I was struck down from behind. When I came to my senses, I was bound and gagged in this cellar. Well, I don't understand. Neither do I. What time did this happen? Around about 7 o'clock. Why, that was before I got here. But I was the first to arrive. Someone is interfering with the disposition of the state. Who are all these people? Well, Peter, of course you know. And Miss Blake is Mr. Blair's fiance. And I'm uh, G. Parker, Peter Foley's manager. Who else is here? Well, uh, Peter's wife, of course. And the motorcycle officer who had an accident with his bicycle. Where is Henry Foley? He's the next beneficiary. Well, he's probably in his room. Uh, just a minute, if I may say so. Uh, being uh, Peter Foley's manager, it seems to me that the issue that confronts us is the paying over of the legacy to Mrs. Peter Foley. Am I right? Yes, of course, but... Uh... Very well, then. Now let's get down to business. Of course, you have the legacy with you to turn over to Mrs. Foley? Yes, but... Uh, then uh, all remains for us to do is to produce Mrs. Foley. Yes, yes, that's it. Very well. She is here. Peter, bring down your wife. But are you sure that they're married? A marriage certificate. Marriage certificate? Certainly. You don't think I'm going to turn over this... Money without proof. Why, man, I married them myself. I mean, I was there when they got married. I have positive proof that they are. Don't get so excited. The whole thing can be very easily arranged. I'm listening. Well, I am a justice of the peace. And if they've not a marriage certificate, I can remarry them before midnight. And there'll be no question. Uh, Mr. Winston, uh, okay, sir. Then you mean I'll really be married to my wife? Why, of course. <laughs> Hey, did you hear that? Hey, did you hear? Which room was she in? Yeah, this is the room Peter's wife was in. Open the door. It's locked. Say, what's the matter here? Oh, it's Peter's wife. Something's happened to her. She screamed. Well, let me at it. I'll open it. You mustn't open it. Let us open it. We'll open it. Uh, Y yes, you, you go on back to your room and let us attend to this matter. Hey, listen, I'm the law. Oh, I can't see what it matters who does it if only the poor woman is rescued. I'm positive that animal's in this house. Open that door once. Yeah, sure, here it goes. Go away.
ain't nobody in here. She's gone. Gone? I wonder where she is. What could have happened? Terry, did you see anything of Mrs. Foley in there? Why, no. Everything seemed just as I left it. Just as you left it? Hey, where was you when she screamed? Why, downstairs, of course, with everybody else. Oh, yeah? So, everybody was down in the living room and she screamed. Yes, everybody. That is, excepting Uncle Henry. He wasn't there? Well, it can't be Uncle Henry. He's been a hopeless pyrolytic for the last two years. Where is he now? Well, Uncle Henry, he, he's probably in bed. There was somebody else that wasn't downstairs. Yeah, who's that? Well, you. You uh, you were here within a few feet of her. It's funny you didn't hear anything. Why, say, you trying to make out that I'm a... Young fella, I got enough on you to hang you now. Don't try to start nothing fresh with me. Well, well, I'm not insinuating anything, well, officer. Don't you do it. Just the same, I'm going to have a couple of words with that old pushcart guy. Hey, you, wait a minute. I want to talk to you. Yeah, well, what's all this hollering for? Where have you been? In bed, you darn fool. Unless Lawrence said the asylum broke loose. Why? What's the matter? We heard a scream. And when we broke into her room, Julia had disappeared. Julia? What's her last name? Why, Foley, of course. Something funny going on here. <laughs> You can't tell me that animal isn't right in this house. Ah, his mate was killed climbing in one of the windows here. Since then, it roams around the grounds, especially on nights like this. You have got to search this house from top to bottom. And if there's anything funny going on, I'll find it. You search the cellar. We look over the rest of the house. Okay. You'd better come with me. I'll be very glad to help you find uh, Peter's wife. Alice, I've been awfully worried about... You don't seem much worried about the fate of your wife, Mr. Foley. What? Well, I'm... I'm not. Does it make any difference who I'm married to, as long as I'm married before midnight tonight? The will merely says that Mrs. Peter Foley must claim her legacy before midnight. There's not much time left. And you can perform the ceremony? Certainly. Alice, will you marry me? Why, Peter, you already have a wife. I have not. I never have had. Parker was going to send me to jail unless I got up here on time to collect the legacy. The lady upstairs. Why, she's Parker's secretary. And what's more, she's that cop's sweetheart. And he's the most jealous guy in the whole state of California. Bless my soul, I never heard of such a thing in all my life. Peter, did Joe Blair know that that woman was not your wife? He certainly did. He was there when the whole thing was arranged. Oh, Peter, I've made a dreadful mistake. Then, then you will marry me? Whenever you say. We're ready, sir. Here it is. 
Plus Blake. Perfectly in order. And uh, Mary, you must be the witness. <clears throat> Miss Blake, take this man, Peter Foley, to be your... Why, what's the matter with the lights? Oh, it's the storm. It affects the wires. At a time like this, Mr. Winstead, could you proceed in, in the darkness? Uh, certainly. Alice Blake, you take this man, Peter Foley, to be your lawful... What is it? Well, what's happened? Oh, she's gone. Alice, Alice. Hey, what's the matter up here? Why, well, well, she's fainted. Yeah? She's gone. She disappeared. Who disappeared? Miss Blake. The lights went out just as we were about to be married, and when they came up again, she was gone. Just about... You were about to be married? I thought you was married to that dame that disappeared upstairs. Hey, what is your name? Bluebeard? Listen, I'll tell just you... Just a minute, young man. I'll explain everything to the officer. That won't be necessary. He, he wasn't really married to the lady upstairs. Miss Blake is the girl he's going to sure, marry. Sure, yeah. And my name is Peter Rabbit. And pretty quick, I'm going to slip you guys a swell Easter egg. Somebody's trying to put something over on me. Well, I'm going to find Alice. Wait a minute. Don't try no funny getaways. I'm taking you with me in the morning. Alice! Alice! Didn't you tell me that that dame upstairs was his wife? Yes, she is. What? His ex-wife. And now another one's disappeared. Yeah, we were all here. Oh, I know the answer to that one. We were all here except the old coot that rolls around in the wheelchair. That's right. And I'm going to find that old buzzard. Your insinuations are ridiculous. I'll get Uncle Henry. Hey, what's the matter with this place? No, oh. He's gone. They've got him, too. What on earth is going to happen next? Say, did anybody search upstairs? Yes, but we didn't find anything. Well, I'll find something. I hope not. You what? I said it's getting hot. Oh, yeah? Do you drive a yellow coupe? No. She can't be far from here. Oh, I wonder who will disappear next. I have a feeling it's going to be me. your hands up over your head and come out of there and don't try any monkey business with me. Come on now. Oh, Peter, he hardly me in his hair and then he ran up those stairs. Whoa! A man with a black mask. No, no, Peter. There's a wild animal up there. I heard it growl. Can you hear us? Yes, but we can't get out. What time is it? Almost 12. If you're not married immediately, you won't get the legacy. Can you marry us now? Yes. Go ahead and marry them. Alice Blake, you take this man, Peter Foley, to be your lawful, regular husband? I do. Peter Foley, you take this woman, Alice Blake, to be a lawful, wedded wife? I do! Then I declare you man and wife.
the way I figured. It's that old coot in the wheelchair that's been getting away with these dames. Henry Foley? Yeah, a lion just chased him out the window. Bless my soul. So what's become of that young Foley? Oh, we just married him to Alice Blake. They're both safe. They're on the other side of this wall. The wall? Hey, what's become of that Julie dame? Oh, you mean Peter's ex-wife? Yeah. I don't think we'll ever find her. Twelve o'clock. We're just in time. Hey, what's the matter with that gadget? Nick, Nick. Oh, Julie, wait a minute, you. So you was the other woman, huh? Oh, it's all his fault. He made me come up here and pose as Peter Foley's wife. Has he got a yellow coupe? Yes, he has. Now listen, officer, I like... Wait a minute, you. You won't ride in anything but an open car, huh? Let me explain, Mr. Weeder. So she is Foley's ex-wife, is she? Say, you like a lot of fresh air, do you? Just a minute, I got some business. Now, take one of these. <laughs> well, you don't drive no yellow coupe, do you? Well, it's the end of that guy. Did he disappear too? Practically. Oh. Oh. Oh, Paul, I was so worried about you. Oh, yeah? Oh, baby, you're the only one I care anything about. Say, what about this? Oh, you don't doubt me, do you? No. Give the bride a little kiss for me. Say, you, I just... I'm ready, officer. I don't care what happens to me now. Oh, well, I ain't gonna take you in. Uh, oh, thank you, officer. Trouble with me is I'm too soft-hearted. About love. Mm, you great big mass of muscle, you... Oh, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> 